Hi to all, welcome to my class number second, Algebraic Expressions and Identities of Class 8, Chapter 9. Today I am going to discuss like and unlike terms, addition and subtraction of algebraic expressions. First of all, let us check what are likes and unlike terms. Here you have a lot of terms of different algebraic expressions. Let me take the first one, 2x. Is there any term containing the variable x alone? Yes. Here minus 2x and 8x. So these are all we can call it as like terms. The terms having different variables we can call it as unlike terms. Let me take 10x square y. What are the like terms? Among the terms given above, okay, here you will get negative 11x square y and here you can get 3x square y. Is 3x square y and 4x y, are they like terms? No. Here you have x square but here only x. So these two will not be form a like term. So they are unlike terms. Now, negative 7xy, if I take 5xy, 4xy, negative 3xy, all are like terms. That means, coefficient we are not considering, only the variable part we are considering for like terms. We can add or subtract like terms. Now, let us check the addition and subtraction of algebraic expressions. Here you have 5xy plus negative 15xy plus 3xy. You can see all the variable part they are like xy, xy, xy. So we can add all these three. First we have to add the coefficients. First to find out 5 plus negative 15 plus 3. Here 5 and 3. 5 and 3 are positive. So you can add 5 plus 3 first. So it will be 8 plus negative 15. Now since it is different numbers having different sign, you subtract and biggest number sign you put. So you will get 15 minus 8 is equal to 7 and sign of 15 is equal to 90. So you will get negative 7. So this we can write it as negative 7 xy that means you add the coefficient and put the same variable look at let us look at another example here you have three expressions to add 2a plus 3b minus c b minus 7a plus 7c 5c minus 5a plus 2b plus 10 now take the first expression 2a plus 3b minus c then you have to add b minus 7a plus 7c to 2a plus 3b minus c for adding you have to take each variable term so that like terms should be in same column that means 3b b you have to put below 3b similarly minus 7a put below 2a and plus 7c below c. Here the sign of b is positive you can make it as plus. So you can add a plus here. So in this way you can rearrange the second expression. Now similarly look at here 5c. The sign of 5c is positive so we can write plus 5c. So just below 7c you can place 5c. Minus 5a it will be just below a plus 2b just below b. Then here remaining a constant plus that you can write it separately. So this expression you can rearrange in this way. Here you can see all like variables are one by one below the first. 
here all A's are here, all B's are here, all C's are here. Now let us add all these things. You know how to add the like things. Write the coefficient and add it. First add the coefficients as 2 plus negative 7 plus negative 5. These two negatives are that, that you add first, which is 2 plus negative 12, that you will get it as negative 10. So this negative 10, you can write it here and write the variable. So 2 plus negative 7, 2a plus negative 7, a plus negative 5, you will get it as negative 10. Do the other Coefficients of the terms containing B is 3 plus here nothing is there so we can take it as 1 as coefficient and 2, 3 plus 1 plus 2 it is 6 so we can write plus 6B. Now let us write add the terms containing C that is minus 1 plus 7 plus 5. What will you get? You will get negative 1 plus 12 which is equal to 11. So you can write plus 11c. Now what is remaining here plus 10 as it is you can write it there. Therefore the sum is negative 10a plus 6b plus 11c plus 10. This is how you have to add algebraic expressions. Now let us see how to subtract. Here you have to subtract 5x square minus 4y square plus 6y minus 3 from 7x square minus 4xy plus 8y square plus 5x minus 3y. So first we have to write 7x square minus 4xy plus 8y square plus 5x minus 3y. Now you have to subtract 5x square minus 4y square plus 6y minus 3. As in the previous case, you can arrange the terms. Here, 5x square just below 7x square. That means x square, x square comes in same column. Next, negative 4y square just below 8y square. 6y just below minus 3y. Then, there is no constant term in the first expression. So, you write it separately. Now subtract. Now subtract the coefficient as we did before. First, 7 minus 5. That is, you will get it as 2. So, you will get 2x square y. Now minus 4xy. Nothing is to subtract. So, you can write as it is minus 4xy. Now you have to subtract. 8y square minus negative 4y square. Write the coefficient and subtract. How do you subtract 8 minus 94? You make it as 8 plus additive inverse. That is 8 plus positive 4. That you can write it as 8 plus 4 which is equal to 12. That is minus. You have to change it as plus. Then change the sign of 4. That will become 8 plus 4. So, 8y square minus minus 4 square, we will get plus 12y square. Here, 5 is nothing to subtract. So, you, as it is, you can write plus 5x. Again, you have to write negative 3y minus 6y. That is negative 3 minus 6. That you can write it as negative 3 plus change the sign of 6 that is minus 6. Now it is same sign so you will get negative 9. So you can write negative 3y minus 6y is equal to minus 9y. Now you have to write here it is you can take it as 0. 0 minus negative 3. Since there is no constant term here we have to take 0. So 0 minus negative 3 which is equal to 0 plus positive 3 which is equal to 3. So we can write it is plus 3. So the difference is 2x square minus 4xy 
plus 12y square plus 5x minus 9y plus 3. This is the answer. Now try yourself. Add the following. L square plus m square, m square plus n square, n square plus n square, 2lm, 2mn, 2nn. First, write the first expression. Then add the second. When you add, m square should come in the same column. m square, m square. Then there is no n square in the first term, so write it separately. Now write on the third. So, n square plus plus L square you have to write N square just below N square L square just below L square of the first expression now write the last one since there is no LM, MN or NL in the previous expressions you have to write it separately now you can add L square plus L square 1 plus 1 2 so that you can write 2 L square Similarly, m square plus m square you can write it as 2m square and n square plus n square you can add it as 2n square and the remaining expression 2lm plus 2m plus 2nl as it is you can write down. The answer is 2l square plus 2m square plus 2n square plus 2lm plus 2mn plus 2n. Since in all terms 2 is there, 2 you can take it as common. So we get, so the answer is 2 into L square plus M square plus N square plus LM plus MN plus N. Here is the next question for subtract. 4P square Q minus 3P Q plus 5P Q square minus 8P plus 7Q minus 10 from 18 minus 3P minus 11Q plus 5pq minus 2pq square plus 5p square q. So first you write the second expression minus. Now you take the first expression. You have to subtract 4p square q minus 3pq plus 5pq square minus 8p plus 7q minus 5. Now arrange the like terms. So for p square q just below 5 p square q you can write and since it is the first term without sign so you can take it as positive now minus 3 p q just below 5 p q 5 p q square just below minus 2 p q square 8 p below minus 3 p 7q below 11q minus 10 below 18. Now you subtract. Subtract the coefficient and write down. 18 minus 19 10 you can write as 18 plus 10 is equal to 28. Minus 3 minus minus 8 you can write as minus 3 plus 8. And the answer is 5. So it is plus 5p. Next, minus 11 minus 7. You can write it as minus 11 plus negative 7. Same sign, so negative 18. You can write minus 18 cube. Now 5 minus negative 3. 5 minus negative 3, you can write it as 5 plus 3, which is equal to 8. So now, minus 2 minus 5. Minus 2 minus 5, you can write this minus 2 plus minus 5, which is equal to minus 7. You can write minus 7 pq square. Now, 5 minus 5 minus 4. 5 minus 4 is equal to 1. So, you can write plus 1 p square q or plus p square q. That is the answer is 28 plus 5p minus 18q plus 8pq minus 7pq square plus p square q. Now this we can write it in an order. That means first we can write the variable with the highest exponent. Variable with the highest power we can write first. So we can rewrite this as 
the answer we can write it as p square q minus 7 p q square plus 8 p q minus 18 q plus 5 p plus 20. Both answer are correct only but this in a particular order we can write that's all. Here you have the third question from exercise 9.1 add the following. The fourth question I already did remaining questions do yourself. Here is your answers. Do verify yourself. Here is the fourth question to subtract. The question number C, I already did it in this video. Remaining A and B, you do yourself. Here is your answers. Do verify yourself. That's all for today's class. Have a nice day.